What's going on guys, Chris Rennick here, and honestly, I wasn't planning on starting the video here, but my good friend Dan over here, he insists on us draining the transmission fluid right now. I want to see the chaos. Yeah, I, I'm kind of curious on how many metal chunks are going to come out of here, so we're going to go ahead, this thing's already on the lift, we're going to raise it up real quick, and I guess we're going to drain the transmission fluid right now. Sorry that I'm filming on my phone, my GoPro is dead, and it is the same night as yesterday. If you haven't watched yesterday's video, definitely go click up in the corner. It's 2.30, 3 in the morning, and we gotta be up for 8 a.m., but who cares, let's run it. All right, Dan, get over here and do the honors, since you're so curious about my metal chunks. <laughs> what? No, Rumble, you are drunk, huh? <laughs> All right, dude. I cleaned out this and everything, so we should be able to see everything. Survey says. Are you okay, dude? It's coming. It's coming, dude. Any day now. Hey, I'm trying not to make a mess. Back on me. Just get it on, Alex. Oh. Oh, the light died. Oh, Hold on. Hold it. Hold it. Oh. All right. No, that's fine. Oh, Everything's God. fine. Oh. I haven't seen anything yet. Was that the dream plug? Yeah, that was. Yeah. Okay, I was about to say. <laughs> I can't see anything. Why is it draining like that? Probably because it's blocked. This is annoying. I don't <laughs> like watching this. This sucks, actually. <laughs> Very anti-climax. Yeah, I was expecting like metal chunks, dude. Yeah, this... I bet you if you take the uh, the tail housing off, you're gonna see like. Oh, everything. dude, you got it on the thing. Oh no, not that cancer stick. I'll still, I'll still fuck it. Not the Corona <laughs> stick. I'll still fuck it. Still good. Still good. This is enough fluid, right? Oh, you could see all the flakes in there. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's it's, it's, it's really shiny. Look at that. Drain plug is fucking... Mm. Oh, God. You got some big boys. Mm. It smells delicious. Jeez. How much for a swig? Dude. <laughs> stay, just put your finger in your mouth. I'll get, no! I'll give you 20 bucks to lick that clean right now. No. 20 bucks, 20 dude. Bucks <laughs> 20 bucks is not worth it. Oh, that is the worst smelling one, too. Like bucks, so but there you go, Dan. Are you happy? Are you satisfied? No, it was, <laughs> I was expecting chunks to be falling out. Yeah, you know? no, I don't blame you, man. Does it feel a little gritty? A little bit. Yeah. Look towards the bottom, yeah. All right, well, everyone say thank you, Dan, for that wonderful clip. You're welcome. <laughs> no transmission fluid? Fuck them. All right, boys. Well, it is the following day. Marcus, dude, are you gonna miss this thing? <laughs> Starts right up like a glove, dude. Give it a rip. Heck yeah. I kind of like it. It's an exhaust leak, but it sounds pretty damn good. I can't lie. We're already 90% of the way there. You can't keep this one. No, no, I don't want to keep it. We need to get rid of it because I'm trying to get a new car. I don't think you, you, you car. like the new car, though. I will like the new car, but you know. What does dad say? Because you say I can't have cars. Well, you just, <laughs> we're downsizing on our space. But I'm getting a, ni a way nicer car. Is that what you're going to drive to the house every night? Yeah, yeah, oh, heck yeah. Okay. That or the know. GTR. That's a little loud. The GTR is a little loud. But no, your one, no, that my GTR is not even compared to what your 180 is. Yeah, but if I, when I pull up, I idle everywhere. To the so do I. Eh. Well, at the new place, I will. Yeah, I mean, the one he's going to sit and drive him most of the time. Yeah, but anyways, yep, here we are. We are somewhere in Jacksonville, and um, we're about to sell this. He gave me $500, deliver it to him, and he gave me a $500 deposit, or else I would never do this in a million years. It's probably going to cost about $110 um, there and back because we're like 20 minutes away, and I just had to fill up, and then another 55 so 110 and, well, I'll be on E by the time I get home, but whatever. Let's go. All right, guys, four hours away from West Palm. We're here at Jacksonville, 
and we just sold the Lexus. Goodbye forever, but we're gonna get something so much cooler very soon, I hope. On the way home, yeah, we're gonna go pick it up. I don't have that much yet. All right, guys, so it is the next day once again. We finally got back from Jacksonville. We literally got back at like 10 o'clock, and honestly, my goal was to come back here, take the transmission out, put it back in and stuff, but I was just so tired, man. I got three hours of sleep the day before that, and then we drove for eight hours, and I was just so wrecked, and I was supposed to be at the compound today, but things happened. I just wasn't able to pull through just because I just didn't want to feel exhausted for three days in a row, but before we get on with this video, I know a lot of you love like when I talk about like like how much I bought a car for that I was anticipating on flipping and how much money we put into it and how much money we got in the long run. So I just totaled up the NB and the LS400. And honestly, I think we did pretty good given the fact that, I mean, yes, I had the cars for quite some time and stuff. So I guess like if you look at it that way, it's not that much money for having the cars for so long. But at the same time, it wasn't hurting me to have the cars around because it's not like I'm paying for storage or anything. Like, yes, I pay for my shop and stuff, but like it wasn't stopping me from either getting another car or stopping me doing what I'm doing day by day. So the way I look at it is I could have sold these cars really fast if I wanted to. It's just I wasn't hurting for money or anything. And honestly, I really liked having the NB around and the Lexus. I just sanded and I just thought that was a lost cost forever. But anyways, we're gonna start with the NBs because that's what I bought first. So we bought the NB, it was fully automatic and everything. And honestly, this is right when I got back to Florida, the flip game was strong. Like I was just flipping cars in Connecticut and it was a blast. I was having a lot of fun doing it and we were making profit every single time we did it. So I went on the Facebook marketplace and I saw this NB. It was the 2001, the red one, as you guys know, and um, it didn't have a price. And I was like, yo man, like what are you looking to get with this? He was like, just come look at it. It's got a blown head gasket. So I'm like, okay, blown head gasket. I can get this thing for cheap. So I go, I think it was like an hour away from where I live and I talked to him and he was actually a guy that was only in the United States for schooling. He was from somewhere else, but he was just here kind of visiting so he can go to school in the United States. But he bought this car. He went to, I forgot who it was, but I think it was Firestone. He brought the car there. They said that it had a bad head gasket. He was gonna spend all, he was gonna have to spend all of this money to get it fixed and to get it running properly and everything. And I was looking around the head and like, usually if you have a head, a bad head gasket, you can see it kind of seeping through the sides and everything. And at the time, I didn't really care whether or not it had a blown head gasket because really that's not that bad of a fix as long as the head's not warped or anything. So. I offered him 600 bucks just to start it low. You always gotta start low because then you just work your way up from there. He was not happy with that and he was like, look man, I mean if you really want the car today and you're gonna buy it today, I can do 800 bucks. And I'm like, sold. I gave him the $800 and we were on our way back to my house and turns out it was not a head gasket problem at all. Like to this day, the car is still running and driving with no overheating issues or anything like that. It was literally just in front of the thermostat, there's this little water line that goes and I guess it like nicked the belt or something because it was a little ripped. So every time he drove it, it would spew coolant out of that little hose and it would start to smoke and then therefore it would start to overheat because you would lose coolant and I guess Firestone just wanted to make a lot of money off him. Anyways, got that thing for 800 bucks. Like I said, it was automatic and everything. So I wanted to, before I flipped the car, I wanted to make it five speed and everything. So this is what we have into the car, right? We bought the Megan Racing Radiator, that's 150 bucks. We bought a gasket kit, like the whole gasket kit for the engine, minus the rear main, the front main, the oil, just like exhaust manifold, intake manifold, little stuff like that. That was 70 bucks. The water pump timing belt kit, that was only $100 off eBay, so I got that one. The front and rear main seal and the oil pan I got for 50 bucks. The K1 wheels, and honestly, I didn't really wanna sell it with this, but I was like, if you want to buy the car with these wheels, I just need to add $600 to the price because that's exactly how much I paid for it. I sold this to a friend of a friend, so I think I kinda cut him a deal because if you look up what NB's cost with coilovers and wheels and everything, it's kinda expensive. Anyways, $600 for the wheels. I put a new battery in it, it was like 150 bucks. Um, I just put random AutoZone stuff like coolant, random stuff like that, 100 bucks. Clutch pedal because we had to do the five speed swap. It was 60. Um, clutch master and slave kit was 60 bucks. Brakes, 100 bucks. Coilovers were free because they came with the Rice Miata. I took them off of that and put them on the NB. They were, um, Team coilovers. Transmission and clutch I had in the shop, so I didn't charge anything for that. Um, drive shaft I had to outsource, that was 100 bucks. Short throw shifter we got off Amazon, that was 60 bucks. And the Tomei shift knob was 30. 
So a grand total that I had into the NB was 2430, okay? Honestly, that's not bad to have like a fully functioning, driving, reliable NB with coilovers and wheels. 2400 bucks is not bad because you can't find a nice one or as nice as mine was for under $3,000. And if it's under $3,000, there's always something wrong with it. There's dents, there's just something annoying about it that kind of will turn me away. Anyways, I sold the car for $4,400. So I guess in hindsight, I almost doubled my money. I, I got about $2,000 off that deal. Now, once again, I had this car for like five months. So I guess if you wanna count that, as in like you made $2,000 in the course of five months that I didn't really do that great. But at the same time, like I said, it didn't, didn't affect me. And I, it's not like I was really trying to sell that car. Honestly, I didn't even try to sell it when they came. My friend was just like, yo, I got a buyer. And he was like, how much do you want for it? And I'm like, I don't know, man, like 3,800 bucks, just throwing a random number out there. And after we added the wheels, cause he really wanted the wheels, it ended up being $4,400. So it kind of just happened. I mean, I wasn't, trying to sell it. I was okay with selling it, but either way, it's gone and we made $2,000 off that deal. Not too bad. The next one is the Lexus. We just sold the Lexus and to be completely honest with you guys, I have zero money into that car. I bought it for $500 because the kid said that the transmission was slipping. I mean, I drove it around. I dailied it for like two or three days. We went to the compound. We drifted with it. We had fun and um, it never slipped. AC crank. The only thing that was wrong with the car was one, the paint, and that was my fault. I mean, it had paint fade and everything, but I completely ruined it by sanding it because I wanted to do a drift taxi stance build. I don't know. Got over that pretty fast. So moving on. I had zero money into it. 500 bucks. And um, I ended up selling that for... 2000 it was really fifteen hundred dollars but the kid lived all the way in jacksonville which is an eight hour round trip i was like look man i mean i'm really busy if you want me to deliver it it's gonna be five hundred dollars so it ended up being two grand minus two hundred dollars for fuel we're at eighteen hundred dollars and off the lexus we profited twelve hundred which honestly is not bad i had fun with that car i mean it really never did too much it kind of just sat around but for making twelve hundred bucks and just having that car sit in my um yard for a little bit it's not too bad. Now it's the fun part. What do I want to do with all this money? Honestly, <laughs> Marcus, Marcus would not agree with me, but I want to buy another car, but it's, it's a lot more expensive of a car, I guess you can say. It's a car that I've wanted for a really long time. Like ever since they came out, like I'm like, I need that car. That car is for me. And I think I can finally make it happen with everything going the way it's going. Now, if all goes right within the next few days, I want to be going to look at this car at the end of the week. I don't wanna, I don't wanna give anything away. I really want this, I'm really working towards it. Um, obviously, there's a chance that it won't happen. I'm just waiting for some things to go into play so I can actually make this happen. But hopefully you guys are excited about this new thing that may or may not happen. I really hope it does. I think it will bring a lot to the channel and the car that I want totally makes sense to my channel and everything. So hopefully you guys are excited. Right now for the flip game, I think I'm done for a little bit, but don't worry. I mean, if, if there's a good deal that comes by and I think that we can make some profit off it, obviously I'm gonna buy it. But right now I'm not really looking for it because the goal is to try to get rid of cars. And if I get this new car, then I'm gonna get rid of another car, which I'm just trying to downgrade and get better cars than I already had, if that makes sense. But man, there's a lot of talking. This clip is about 12 minutes long. It'll probably be eight after I snip it all down. Not too bad, not too bad. But I think I'm gonna wrap up the video right here. I know not a ton of things went on today, but there was just a lot of information that I wanted to share with you guys and kind of explain where I'm at with everything. And hopefully we can get that new car. It is. It is fairly new there. I'm looking at anywhere from a 2016 to a 2017. If that gives any hints, I don't really know. I don't really care. I'm just really excited. I've been looking at them for the past few days. I think we can make it happen. Root for me. We're gonna go work on some cars right now. Marcus is working on his Miata and stuff. So we're gonna pick up this video tomorrow. So definitely stay tuned, subscribe for more, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.